Well, I really don't want to do this, but now I got to drill some big holes through this body. I'm mounting the fender mirrors. So these are the ones that want to go on. So these are the ones I'm going to install. These are not the ones the wife wants, but these are the ones I want. So everybody on the internet voted for black ones to go on. So boom. So what we have to do is we have to drill a large hole for that aligner dowel pin. And then we have to draw, draw, drill a smaller hole for the actual bolt to hold it down. So I have measured from here 24, 26, 28, 30 on both sides. So what I did that for is to figure out where I wanted the mirrors. And I think I want them at 28 inches. I did put down masking tape that way when I drill into the body. The paint ain't going to chip around it. And then I can just peel it off when the time is ready. But... I'm super not wanting to drill through this body. Ooh. If, I, if I screw this up, the truck's going to look like junk and I'll have to take the fenders back off to get repainted and body work. But, uh, you know what? I want these mirrors. They're here. I want them installed. I want them on the truck. So let's install these. So there you go. I'm still super nervous about drilling through anything that has to do with the body on this truck, but uh, mirrors are mounted. They're both on there. Look great. Haven't really sat in the truck yet to see if I can even see through them, but uh, I don't even need to see them through them. They just got to be there for legal reasons, but uh, they're on, they're done. Um, Fine tune that one a bit so it looks right. There you go. Look at that. So that's one more item off the check sheet. Um, I will have to pull this motor again because I have noticed that the frost plugs are leaking. So I basically have to pull the motor, pull the transmission, and do the frost plugs. Not exactly a great job, but uh, it has to be done. I'm going to lose all my coolant. Uh, while I have it out, I'm going to do a couple other things to the motor. Um, but uh, I have to go get an engine crane because I lent my engine crane to somebody and have not got it back yet. So that's still, I'm putting that off until I get farther down the list. But I don't really want to take this motor out. But if it needs to come out, it needs to come out, right? So maybe I can take the motor out and leave the transmission in. I don't know. We'll see, but anyway, so fender mirrors are on. Um, I've had about a week and a half vacation from this truck due to Christmas, New Year's, and Honda shutdown. If you guys don't know what Honda shutdown is, the automotive plants shut down for a week, and all the contractors, which is me, get called in for like 12-hour shifts to fix everything that's been broken over the last six months. So... Now that shutdown's done, I'm hopefully going to have this thing pretty much done for the road. And uh, maybe I can even get this truck out of here a little early and I can get started on a derby car. But realistically, the list is getting smaller and smaller. Like, uh, I've got the rad fan done, so that has to be scratched out. Weld U bolts, weld uh, e-brake, that's 30 seconds. Fender mirrors is done. Fuel gauge wiring is done. Exhaust, I just want to put a temporary one on it. I got to uh, make sure the tires hold all air soon because they slowly leak. Uh, I had to cut this cable to put the transmission in. I want to check the fluid in the transmission. I got to finish putting the driver's side door together. Hood stop, you, uh, that's got to come out with the motor, so don't even worry about that. And then I'm just mostly looking for wheel centers and lug nuts and lower the front one inch. So other than little, little things, this thing is done. And now I got to pull the motor back out, so... Uh, the motor comes in and out pretty damn simple. It's realistically 30 minutes to remove the motor, but now that I got all this head dressing on, all the intercooler tubing, fuel lines, wiring, all that fun stuff, it is going to take me a little bit longer. 
While it's out, I'm probably gonna block all this off, which is my brake booster, because as of right now, I'm not running a brake booster. Um, yeah, so this thing is coming along great, and it will be on the road very shortly.